Hey there guys, this is NDM here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play for Pokemon Fire. Okay, so in the last episode we did quite a lot of the Silph Co. And cleared out most of the trainers in here. I think there's still a lot more to get through. But... <clears throat> we've... Oh god, we've got a battle already? Are you kidding me? Ah, I was in the middle of burping and I was in the middle of explaining my introduction and what we did in the last video. And then all of a sudden you just had to come and interrupt me. You're rude. I deserve an apology. And that's how you apologize, by sending out a gigantic purple basilisk. Yes, well your basilisk is, basilisk is about to be thwarted. And I am recording in the kitchen, I am not recording in a very warm room, it's actually kind of cold in here, but... Um, I did drink a hot chocolate, so I should be starting to warm up soon, so I'll be fine. Because I'm not recording in the area that I always record in, where it's normally usually warm. Uh, but today I'm recording in the kitchen, and the kitchen's right near the conservatory, and the conservatory is basically, you know, the outside, the outhouse, and the cold air from the winter, um, the winter cold air is coming through the conservatory and into the kitchen. So, oh, what? I'm paralyzed? I thought Raichu couldn't get paralyzed. I thought his ability was not to be able to be paralyzed, and I'm dead. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, so our Raichu now died, so we gotta get ourselves out some other Pokemon to use. Um, I'm gonna use Darth Vader because I know... Well, this only got a little bit of HP left, and it's, just only, and it's the uh, only Pokemon this trainer has, so I might as well use Darth Vader to take it down because I know that he can. But I probably also know that um, Pigmonk could probably take it down too, but... I just wanted to take it down with uh, Darth Vader, even though he shouldn't be getting all the EXP. Actually, I probably should have used Pigmonk because I knew he got all that EXP. Oh god, you stupid ass! <laughs> I should have used Pigmonk instead. All right, okay, so we're gonna. Um, what floor are we on? Are we on the lowest floor right now or not? Okay, we're not on the lowest floor yet. So when we get to the lowest floor. I'll start going around this dungeon using teleportation pads. I think this is a trainer as well, yeah. Show me Team Rocket a little respect. I'm not showing you guys no respect. You show Silph Co no respect. You show no trainer no respect. So why should we show you the respect that 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 you deserve? Well, we're not showing you no respect because you deserve no respect. We deserve all the respect because we are saving the world. Unlike you, you're destroying the world and making it a catastrophic, disastrous, desolate wasteland. Whereas we are making it into a paradise filled with Pokemon, happy Pokemon, and Pokemon that are not being used just because of their power. But we're using our Pokemon because we love them. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, Team Rocket Grunt, cough, cough. Haha, <laughs> you've got a contagious disease. You are going to die. No, that's not... Yeah. <clears> okay, <throat> so let's... Have we been down here? Okay, so we've been down here before. Um... Does it go any lower than this? I don't know. Let's check. Yeah, it does go lower. How deep is this place? Like, how many floors are there in this dungeon? Ah, uh, god knows. Quit messing with us, kid. Like I say, this place is very confusing. You don't know where you've been. Like just then, I've just been on that floor, and that was on floor 2, but we haven't been on floor 3 yet, so how could have we been on floor 3, how couldn't we have been on floor 3 if we've been on floor 2? Yeah, I think that makes sense. But like I say, this place is confusing, especially when you start using teleporters and stuff, because that's where things really get muddled up. But like I say, I just want to try and get this place done in this one episode. Or the majority of it done. Like, get rid of all the trainers. Because once we've got rid of all the trainers, then there's just the boss battle left to fight. And the boss battle is no tougher than these trainers, I can tell you that much. It won't be like level 50 Pokemon or anything like that. He'll have about the same type of level that 
these trainers have. Maybe a bit higher, like level 35 or something, but not too high. Nothing that we can't handle, anyway. Because we seem to get through this place just fine, as we are at the moment. Except for most of my Pokemon are, al are almost dead. I mean, uh, Darth Vader is almost dead, and we've only got Pigmonk left, and I don't think Pigmonk will end up lasting us throughout this whole entire death trap, so I'm just gonna get Darth Vader healed here because we have so many super potions I'm not even worried about wasting them all so I might as well just squander away <laughs> wait we have an iron an iron boosts the defense uh, raises the base defense stat of the yeah I'll use this on someone uh, who has the lowest defense well obviously Vaporeon does so we'll boost Vaporeon's defense to a higher level so then she'll have more of a chance in battle, or he will have more of a chance in battle, not she. Um, right, so we obviously haven't been in any of these teleportation pads, we obviously haven't been on this floor, because that was a trainer we just haven't, we haven't beaten yet. So let me just explore a little bit more around here, just to make sure that we're leaving no trainers unturned. Okay, so let's just go deeper now. Wait, this is floor two, what the hell? But that's floor three. Does it go up or does it go down? I don't know. What? Yeah, it goes up, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a tower, you silly. It doesn't go underground. It goes up. Towers ascend. They do not descend. That's why I'm getting muddled up here. Cause I, I'm thinking of the the casino dungeon, the one that the Team Rockets had in the casino. But yeah, we're on floor 5F now. And that's where we ended off the video, so... Now it would make sense to proceed to floor 6, which means we are now ascending, not descending. So, are these new trainers or no? This is an area I've already been to before, where all these civili or where all these um, civilians were trapped in this room here by Team Rocket. So, we obviously have been here before. So, let's go up to the next floor. And we haven't been here yet, I don't think. What, we've been here as well? Uh, okay. <laughs> we, oh yeah, that's right, because... Oh my god. Right, so we was here before, wasn't we? Yeah, because I beat this trainer, and then I ended off that video there, and then did the next video, and went downstairs, and went all over the place. I don't know where I've been in this area, to be honest. I could have very well have cleared out this whole entire dungeon, for all I know. Alright, let's go to the next floor then. Which is straight up here. I don't think we've been here before. Have we? No, we haven't been here before. Right, so we are making progress now. Which is good. Because now I know exactly where we are so we can get back on track. And this guy has three Pokemon starting off with a Voltorb. The angry, mad Pokeball. Damn, we really need some PP here, I think. Otherwise, we're going to end up running out. I don't have any PP um, healers or anything that can heal PP. So if we run out of PP, that's it. We're screwed. <laughs> Unless, obviously, I let Darth Vader die and use my last max revive. Because I do have a max revive in my uh, storage. Or in my bag. So if I die, I could use that, and then when he comes back to life, he'll have all his PP back. So I could do that if I run out of PP. Whether that would be the sen most sensible decision to do, I don't know, because I do have escape ropes, I think. But the problem is, I don't think you can actually use escape ropes in this place. You can only use them in caves. And we're not in a cave. <laughs> we may be in a dungeon, but we're not in a cave. So that could make like the whole difference. Whether you can use an escape rope in here or not. Because you obviously can't use escape ropes in buildings. Like any normal building. But then again, normal buildings don't have 
um, areas infested with trainers that just want to slaughter you. So I don't know whether you can or not, but if the situation is dire and we really need to use an escape rope to get out to get our Pokemon healed up, then obviously I will try that out. I'm not just going to stand there and watch myself die. I will find a way of getting out. <laughs> Well, there are easier ways. You could probably use the use the elevator, but I'm not sure if the lift key will work in here. You might need to find some different item to get through the elevators in this dungeon. I'm not sure. Like a different lift key. Well, I'm talking as if I played this. If I'm playing this blind right now, because I haven't played this game in a long time, as you well as you already may well know. Because I think I said that at the beginning of the LP that I haven't played this game in a very long time and this is like the first time I've played it in so many years. But yeah, it is. And I can't remember whether you do get a different lift key in here or not. <laughs> it's always like towards the end of the game is where you always start forgetting stuff, but then that but then towards the end of the game that was the last thing you did on the game so you should be able to remember it right but you don't remember the last part of the game you always remember the beginning part of the game and then as fu as soon as you get towards the end you start to forget and that's what I find weird because going towards the end it's the last thing you did so you should remember the last thing that you did in the game but you don't you always remember the first thing you did in the game like the introduction and stuff and then as you get to a certain point in the game you start forgetting what stuff you did or what stuff you had to do. Like if you haven't played the game in so many years and you start coming back to it again. Yeah. Like that's what always happens to me. Because right now I'm playing, um... Well, I was playing Banjo-Kazooie, as you know. And I finished the game last week. But as to as I got towards the end of the game, where I got to when I got to Click Clock Wood, I completely forgot where all the Jiggies were where all the Jinjos were and everything and I just did it all completely without a walkthrough and everything. It took me a few days to do it obviously because that world is butt hard I tell you. It's like one of the hardest worlds I've ever done in platform <laughs> or in, in any 3D platforming video game is uh, Click Clock Wood from Banjo Kazooie. It's because if you die once you have to get all the notes from each season over and over again until you get all the hundred notes. So if you die once and you didn't get all the 100 notes, and let's say you got like 90 notes uh, before you died, you'd have to go through all the seasons again to get each notes, or all the notes from each season, and obviously there are four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter, and you have to go to each different season, and the world is one big, is one, it, the world is like one big area, and it's always the same area in each season, but in each season things change like notes are placed in different areas and stuff so you have to go to each season to get every note and that's why it's kind of hard to do that world but it is my favorite world in the game just because of how unique it is but I don't like it for its difficulty <laughs> that's the problem but I did manage to do it in the end after so many hard trials and errors and many many amounts of fails I managed to pull through and do it But there was one Jiggy that I couldn't find that took me forever and it was the last Jiggy that I needed to get. I had nine Jiggies and I had to find this last one and it was one where you had to be a bee and you had to fly all the way to the top of the tree and there's like this one branch that sticks out and there's a snapper there. There's like a snapper which is a plant and um, it has a Jiggy in it but I didn't know it was there because the, pl because the branch was so high up. I didn't know where it was and I tried flying around the tree as a bee to see if I could find it but I couldn't and uh, I just went in the winter area outside of Nabnut's house and looked straight up in the air and I just saw the branch right in front of me and I was like oh there it is <laughs> and I suspected that's where the jiggy was and yeah that's where the jiggy was in the end ultimately but you, had, but you have to go into spring to get it, you can't get it during the winter, you can't get it during the fall, and you can't get it during the summer because Mumbo isn't available in any of those seasons. <clears throat> Mumbo is only available during the spring season, and that's the only uh, season where you can transform into a bumblebee. 
So if you want to get the last jiggy or whatever jiggy, it, well if you want to get that jiggy, it might not be the last jiggy that you get because you don't have to get it in a chronological order or anything like that. Like there's no order you have to get them in. But if you want to get that jiggy, you have to go to the spring, get Mumbo to turn you into a bumblebee, and then fly straight up to the branch and get the um... It's right above Nabnut's house. And then you fly straight up and there's a snapper plant, you land on the snapper plant as a bumblebee and you just get the jiggy like that. But I was looking forever f trying to find that thing. I must have spent at least five hours trying to find it. <laughs> it seemed like five hours, it probably wasn't, it was probably about an hour I spent looking for it. But you need 30 Mumbo tokens to transform into a Bumblebee. I think it's 30 or it's 20. But I know it's a, a number, t like a 10, like it's in the 10 times table. You know, like 20, 30, 40. But yeah, it's either 30 or 40. No, 30, 30 or 20, not 30 or 40. Oh, we got ourselves a rare candy. Which will become of some use, I guess. And we got ourselves an Ultra Ball. Oh, that, that, those were quite some good finds we just found there. Um, a Carbon, I think it was, or a Carbos. Yeah, Carbos, Rare Candy, and uh, an Ultra Ball. So, I'm going to use this Rare Candy on Flipper right here. Or I could use it on Vaporeon. Um, I probably, I'm probably more favour of using it on Vaporeon, so, yeah. And he's got to level 32. So he's getting up in the levels now, which is good. Uh, right. Is there another floor we have to go up? Yeah, there is. Right, okay. This must be the last floor right here. Here it is. Because that's where the boss room is, I think. Holt, do you have an, op an appointment with my boss? An appointment with your boss? What kind of appointment? Is it a dentist appointment? Well, there's nothing wrong with my teeth. And I'm pretty sure it's not a hospital appointment because I'm not being hospitalized. So, yeah, what kind of appointment is it, mister? Or are you just trying to trick me? Are you trying to send me to your boss so you, then you can lock the room and do some kind of, I don't know, weird experiments on me? Try and rape me or something? I don't know. If I manage to kill all of your Pokemon before they kill me, which is not possible because I'm now dead, <laughs> Sadly. Wait. Did that rare candy just bring my Vaporeon back to life? Because my Vaporeon was dead before I gave it the rare candy. Uh. That was strange. <laughs> I, I just noticed that just now. I just noticed that rare candy just brought my Vaporeon back to life. That's crazy. Stranger than fiction. I can't believe Darth Vader's almost level 50, holy crap. Uh, damn. Shit. No, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. No. 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 Oh, thank God. Oof. God, I thought I was going to have a heart attack just then. I thought that that confusion was going to end up killing me. But no, I got lucky because I, I wanted to use a super potion. So I'm going to use that right now before this Ekans probably ends up kicking my ass or something. Because I'm not taking that risk, I'm telling you. Darth Vader is my strongest Pokemon and I want to keep him alive. So I'm not letting you kill me. My defense harshly fell. Well, that doesn't sound very great, does it? <laughs> harshly. But I'm still confused, so... I think I might end up dying here, guys. Very much so. Oh, stop using Screech, man. Seriously, you're just trying to raise my defense, so then you can just be powerful enough to kill me. But really, you're not. You're just using... 
defense decreasing stats or stat attacks but really you're just a weak ass snake that has no power over my Darth Vader yeah that's right get owned cry about it go in a corner and never show your face again god demolished you've been playing too much blast corpse mate yep I'm telling you if you don't know what Blast Corpse is, it's a demolition game for the Nintendo 64 made by Rareware. If you don't know what Blast Corpse is, you probably do because it's made by Rareware. And Rareware is awesome, so everyone would probably know about it, but yeah. I got that for Christmas. I think I've already mentioned that as well. <laughs> uh. Right, so now we just got to go all over the place in Teleportation Pass to try and find out where we got to go next. And one of these is going to take us to the boss room. I think we've cleared out the area of trainers now. And I really want to get in there. There are two Pokeballs in there. There are two chests and they're just taunting me. They're saying, ha ha ha. You're wondering what's inside these? Yeah, we'll get past this blocked door and then you'll find out. But no, we've got to guess which teleportation pad it is to take us there. And this is just a dead end. Yeah, I don't want to go on there. <laughs> um, I want to go to the room where the chests are. Is this just going to take me back? Yep. And we've already been in that one as well, so... Alright. <clears throat> Let's go down. Go on this one. Oh, we haven't been in here, though. So here's a trainer. Sanshu is going to die today. How'd that miss? How did that miss? Uh, he's not going to kill me anyway, he's just used Poison Sting. Like the weakest poison type move ever to exist. It's not even going to do jack crap of damage against me. So yeah. Have a taste of lame bananas. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Thrash. There we go. But there are more doors up ahead that have been blockaded. There must be like a key card you can get that can just open all these doors. Seriously? There must be. Have, would the key card actually work on these? No, it needs a card key. Oh, it needs a card key. Yeah, we got the. No. We don't. We have the lift key. Why do I keep saying it's the car the key card? It's not the key card, it's the lift key. Uh, I keep messing up by saying it's the lift key. It's not the lift key, it's the key card. You silly. Alright, I'm going to go on one of these teleporters here. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh no, what... Uh, well, that wasn't the room that I was thinking of, but still, we got ourselves a chest, which is good, and it's behind a blockaded door with no access, other to go through the blockaded door. But, um, yeah, I imagine where those two chests are is where the card key is, and that's the room where I want to get to, to get the card key. But how do I get there, I don't know, so we're just going to have to guess here and go through all these random teleporters until we finally come to the room where the key card is. I think I've already been in this one before. Yeah, I'm just going around in circles now. <laughs> I don't really want to be doing that, so... I didn't just come from this teleporter, did I? Yeah, I did. Right, okay, so that just goes around in a circle. Right, so... We've pretty much cleared out that area then. I guess. Uh, f 
Wait, I am going around in circles here. Have I been in this one? Yeah, I've been in this one. This is just the area I just came from. Um, right, I don't think we've been in this one, have we? Uh, no, we haven't. Right, okay. We can no stop help. Oh, you are not with Team Rocket. I'm sorry, I thought... Will you forgive me if I teach you the Thunder Wave technique? No, thank you. Oh, but Thunder Wave is convenient. Yeah, am I right? You knew Thunder Wave when he was like level 5, so uh, I don't really need it. And plus, I don't have any electric type po Pokemon on my team besides Raichu, so it's not as if I'll be needing it. But thanks for the offer. <laughs> Where are we going here? I swear, we're just going around in circles. Yeah, we are. Look, there's the room with the two chests in. The room that I really want to get into, but... I can't just seem to find my way around this place. Like, whenever I play this game, I always just get confused. Always lost. But eventually, you obviously will find your way around. Somehow. <laughs> Is there anything on the top floor? Like the very top floor? No, there wasn't. I was just making sure. Right, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start from the first floor and just work my way up. Because that's probably the best way to do it. Because we're on floor 11 here, guys. And we want to go all the way down to floor 1. So then we'll just start and make our way up to the top. Because obviously one of these teleportation paths is obviously going to take us to uh, that room that I want to be getting to. So let's just go to the first teleport that we find, which would be this one. Right, so... See, we haven't been in here. <laughs> I wonder if Sylph is finished. No, it's not finished yet, mate, because everyone is still... Um, still being infested, well this place is still infested with Team Rocket grunts and we need to clear this place out immediately <laughs> before they cause any more havoc I mean they've already caused enough havoc by placing these awkward teleportation pads all over the place trying to get me confused is there one over here? nope because this area would be so much easier if we found that keycard, but I know, I think I know exactly where it is, and it's in that room with those two chests, and I've already mentioned it before so many times in this video, and I need to stop mentioning it. So I'll stop mentioning it. Hmm. Uh. How about I just stop and think for a second? Just stop and think. Right, we've already been in this one. We've already been in that one. And that one, and that one down there. So this floor is completely cleared out. We don't need to go on any of those teleportation pads. Right. Then come down here. Have we been on this one? Well, let me have a look here. I don't. Th have we been on this one? Let me just check. Yeah, we've been on this one. Uh, this one. Yeah, we've been on this one too. Uh, up the stairs. <laughs> Yeah, I've been on that one as well. But there is one teleportation pad, and it's behind that Team Rocket grunt, and it's all the way down here, I think. Because how else are you supposed to get to that Pokeball chest? I don't know. Uh, I've been on that one definitely so many times. There we go! Right, so we haven't been on this one yet. Now this could take us somewhere that we haven't been to before. But I want to get this chest first, so I might as well do that. Ah, uh, oh yes! I found it! I found it! I found the keycard. Right, okay. 
Now we're in business, because now we have all access to this whole entire area. We can just open doors like this. Look, watch. Ah, uh, easy. <laughs> nice. Right. So let's just clear this area and just open all the doors. And get everything. Loot the place. I'm so happy I friggin' found that thing. Man. Because now, well, now we can just go everywhere, wherever we want to, without even caring about going in the teleporter pads. So just open all the doors. First of all, we got to find the doors to open. Is this a trainer? Nope. I've already beat you before. Come in here. Look at all these chests. Look at all these chests. <laughs> yeah, let's grab them all. Escape rope. And a max revive. Oh, how handy. Nice. Gone. Shh, you can't see. Can't, can't you see I'm hiding? <laughs> right, so we got all the chests in that area. So I want to find that room with those two uh, chests in them. Because I'm curious to see what's inside those. I don't know why, but. <laughs> right, so I've already been here before. Um, go up. There they are. HP up. Nice. Actually, I could use that on someone to get their HP up. Pro probably Vaporeon, because uh, Vaporeon needs all the stats that she needs at the moment. All the um, items that give her better stats, so I'll probably use that on Vaporeon. I want to go down to 1F because we haven't been to... No, 2F should I say, because we haven't been to 2F yet. Because uh, there are probably some locked doors down there as well. There aren't any locked f floors down on the first floor because that's the foyer. And there's nothing down on the foyer. So, yeah, there are two doors here. Right, okay, let's open these. Check what's inside. Because I don't want to leave anything valuable in any of these. Right, okay. Just teleport would be easier. Alright. We've already been on the third floor. We've already been on the fourth floor. Already been on the fifth floor. Already been on the sixth floor. So now we've got to go to the seventh floor. I believe. Yeah. Right, so let's go to the seventh floor. We're almost done here, guys. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I'd get it all done in this video, but what do you know? I guess anything's possible if you try hard enough and think more instead of going all over the place acting like a crazy person like I have been this past throughout this whole entire video just panicking <laughs> on worrying about where I'm going but as I just took a time to think and uh, finally suss things out which is good because now we're making hell of a load of progress <laughs> is there any more doors to open? no Nope. There's no doors on this floor. Alright, okay. Yeah, but there are doors here, though. No, we've already been in there. There's no point in even opening those doors. Okay. Because that's where we got our key card, I think. Or was it? No, it wasn't. It was on the floor below. We got the key card. Oh, we got, got, we got a Team Rocket Grunt here. Um, that's not good. You look tired, you should take a quick nap. Oh, thank you. So we get ourselves healed up now. Don't give up. Thanks for that vote of confidence. Now... Just go up. Because I don't really want to go that way, because I know that's the area that takes us straight to the boss room. And I don't want to go to the boss room just yet. I want to clear out everything before we go there. Um... No, I don't want to go down there because that's just going to take me back to another floor that I don't want to go to. So we've reached 11F, right? So that's everything all cleared out right there. So now the only thing that's left to do is just to go this way and fight this last Team Rocket grunt before you go ahead and take on the boss. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. I 
And he only has three Pokemon, so this takedown is three Pokemon, and uh, I think I'll end off the video once this is done. But the good thing is, I didn't have to make way to a Pokemon Center just to get all my Pokemon healed. Thank God there was a rest stop. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have had to go out and uh, go to the Pokemon Center to get myself healed up. So that saves a lot of time. Because time is money! And money we don't have. Well, actually, we do have quite a lot of money in this game, but not in real life. <laughs> I thought I said Splash just then. I was like, what? Charizard is learning the move Splash? No, he's learning Slash. Because <laughs> Splash is the most useless move in the history of Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, I think you've seen it as well when um, Goldeen uses it or Magikarp. I think I showed you a Magikarp as well. Yeah, I had. All they know is just Splash. Uh, slash. What power is it? Power of 70. I think I'm more in favor of getting rid of Metal Claw. Because uh, Ember is. Um, it may have Ember may have a lower power attack or a lower attack power, but. There are more effective um, types to uh, Ember than there are with Metal Claw, so that's why I got rid of the Metal Claw instead. So yeah. And there we go guys, this in, uh, this pretty much concludes and ends for this episode, so in the next episode we shall be progressing on into fighting the boss of Silphco, and then probably starting the next gym as well, so we might be starting the next gym in the next video, so yeah. Until then, take care everybody, see you on the next video, this is MDM saying thanks for watching, <laughs> and goodbye, I tried saying that when I was holding in a burp, but yeah, um, I'll see you all next time, goodbye.